Hi everyone, we're going to bottle two beers today, two different ways. Hi, I'm Bradley with 2B Brewing. If you want to find more about brewing tips, please subscribe so you're notified in the next video. We're going to bottle two all grain beers that I made um, two different ways. The first one we're going to do with conditioning tablets or sugar tablets. Um, you just drop them into the bottle that's sanitized, you fill it up with your beer, and you're good to go. The other beer, I have uh, an ounce of corn sugar in a half cup of water that I boiled, and I'm gonna pour that into a, another container and then transfer the beer on top of that, and then bottle from that container. So I've had to clean some bottles Got some from some friends. I left a couple laying around. So the bottom just didn't get quite clean during a normal rinse out. So you can take a bottle brush, shove it in there and scrape it around. Usually works pretty well. Sometimes though, it doesn't quite cut it. So that's when all you do, snip the ring off the end of your brush. I have a second brush and then attach it to a drill. Just like so. So then you just go ahead and stick it into your bottle and give it a twirl. And that usually works out pretty well. It helps a lot. Hey, bottling the first beer with the conditioning tablet. This is the Munich Smash. I am using an auto siphon. So it's just a tube in a tube and so when you pump the inner tube it helps pull liquid up and then I'm using my bottling wand to fill up these bottles. I constantly sprayed everything down with sanitizer so that we get the best deal. I've filled the bottles up with tablets so as we fill this all up we will let the beer do its work. Hoping to get 10 bottles out of here. We'll see. As you can see the line of uh, cruising ring on the uh, jugs is definitely under around the gallon mark. So I maybe got three quarters of a gallon in this. Sanitize cap. One down. However, more to go. Hey, for the next batch of beer that we're gonna bottle, I took my solved corn sugar and water, put it in this sanitized container, and I'm gonna transfer the beer into this container to pre-mix it, and then I'm gonna use the same setup after I re-clean it to then bottle. Looks really clear, doesn't it? Of course, uh, fluid dynamics always play a role, so where you want to come out always should be lower than where you're pulling from. Currently for bottling, I prefer this method where I transfer to another container and then uh, bottle. I think it's cleaner because you can definitely leave some of the true the stuff on the bottom behind. And I can then just let my bottling water, um, sorry, I can just let my auto siphon just go ahead and sit in the bottom of my bottling jug. Bottling day is all done. Hit subscribe. You want to be notified when I taste these beers. If you like this video give it a thumbs up as you can tell when i transfer to another container i managed to be a little better in getting beer out and i basically got seven full bottles and a partial which is to here whereas when i bottle straight from my primary um, fermenter it can be done i only got six bottles and then a almost a full bottle um, 
so I had to leave a lot more behind because I didn't want a lot of children in my bodice. All right. We will see you next time, everybody. Bye.